our morning's worship by singing from the Pentecostal hymnal, 89, the Haven of Rest. 89 from the Pentecostal hymnal, the Haven of Rest.
rest. Bless the Lord Jesus. The heaven of rest is our Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord Jesus. It's time for prayer. And today, in this segment of prayer, we'll be praying a prayer of adoration, repentance, and forgiveness. Thanksgiving, oh sorry. Adoration, repentance, and thanksgiving, one prayer. It's going to take in adoration. We know that's the first part of our prayer always. Adoration. Then we are going to go before God in a repentant mood. And then thanksgiving. I have heard my soul. Thank you. 
this morning from Ephesians chapter 3, reading from verse 1 to the end. We'll read alternate verses. Bless the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus. We give you praise, mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, hallelujah. Eternity. Here begins. For this cause, I call the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. How that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in few words. Which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. Whereof I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Unto me, one blessed and the And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world had been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. According to the eternal purpose, which he purposed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Whereof I desire that you faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. Of whom the whole family in heaven and earth was named. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that he be rooted and grounded in love. And to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that he might be filled with all the fullness of God. Twenty-one and last, unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Bless the Lord Jesus. We give God thanks for the reading of a portion of his words this morning. In Jesus' name. We sing for our church anthem today. Jesus, I'll go through with the 104 from the best of all.
bless the name of the Lord Jesus, everybody. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus, everybody. Worship the name of the Lord Jesus, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's magnify the name of the Lord Jesus. Just set up some praise unto our God.
Glory to God. Today would normally be our fasting Sunday, and we are still in fasting. We would be serving Lord's Supper and so on, but because of what is happening, that has been curtailed a bit, but we are still in fasting today, and the service will take the same order, so it, it will be a little different. So for those persons who are locked down, you might not hear the we are reverencing God today. And so please, as you worship with us, just join in, reverence Almighty God. Greetings is extended to our pastor, Bishop Farr, our ministers, Raffington, Davis, Williams, Simpson, Pinnock, you lovely saints, it's good to see you. Just give the Lord a big praise. Give the Lord a big praise. We are not there yet. But we are getting there. Come on, somebody. We're not there yet. But we're getting there and we are thankful to God. We are thankful to God this morning. Our order will be, as I, before I get to the order though, there are some persons in the house who we have not seen for a long time. Brother Markel Farr over there was abroad. He is back with us. Come on, saints. Welcome him back. Sister Marson, yes. And we have not seen Sister Clark around there for the longest while. Sister Tim, come on. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. It's good to have you in the corner over there. Good to have you and your husband there. Good to have you, sir. Good to have you. You see, when we... Yes, and how could I forget Evangelist Raffington? She would have never forgiven me. <laughs> because uh, I had a little occasion last week, and when I went to the place, you know, I was wondering, who am I going to see here now that can assist me? And the Lord provided Evangelist Raffington. <laughs> so I didn't have to wait long at all. She would not have forgiven. Welcome, Evangelist. Glory to God. We are going to be having a lovely time in the house of the Lord today. We are going to be praying, we are going to be praising, and we are going to be lifting up the name of Jesus. Because when we pray, the devil trembles. You know that. When we pray, the weakest of saints pray, the devil trembles. And so we are going to let the devil tremble today. He's going to shake in his boots today. Because we are going to be praying to our God. Glory to God. Our order is as follows. Deacon Knox will be doing praise and worship today. We'll be taking two testimonies of miracles. Miracles, miracles, miracles. So if it is not a miracle, in Jesus' name. Be still today. If it is not a miracle, be still. And let the persons with miracles testif testify today. Then we are going to be having our bishop doing the sermon. After which we are going to be having a prayer. This will be led by Evangelist Raffington of petition. But in this petition, it is just asking for miracles. So we have prayed for many things before. But today, the focus is on miracles. Bless the Lord Jesus, everybody. Amen. Bless the Lord Jesus, everybody. Amen. Bless the Lord Jesus, everybody. God so free.
The Portland Health Department will be having their week of mental health week. It's under the theme mental health in an unequal world. This is from October 10 to 16, and this is they're going to be kicking this off with a church service here next Sunday. So remember, mental health in an unequal world. Your mental health is important. We don't pay much attention to it sometimes, but we ought to, especially in times of lockdown like this, it is getting to a lot of people. And some people are doing some crazy things, but we are thankful today that we have the man who speaks to the wind and the wave in our boat. And so when the, those thoughts come, all we need to do is call to our God and he will give us the calm for our storm. Deacon Knox, in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Excuse me, just a few minutes, Bishop. And uh, I just feel as if my shackles are broken, my spirit is free. Praise the Lord.
in Jesus' name.
us praise the Lord some more.
as was said, first Sunday, and first Sunday is our fasting Sunday. And we normally have Lord's Supper or, or the communion. But because of the protocol, we're not able to have members here. We have put a part of the old, open up for long. And, uh, but we, we are still the most of us on fasting. I want to say to my precious brethren, fasting has its use and its purpose. It boosts your spiritual life. It boosts your faith. It boosts your knowledge. It, it crucifies the human and the human desire and give more life to the Spirit. Last week we spoke on the subject of faith. It was not exhausted, it was a very, very long subject. Faith. And we looked at faith from the context of a gift of the Spirit. There are nine gifts of the Spirit. 1 Corinthians 12, and we want to look back at that to see the gifts of faith, not the fruit of the Spirit now, but gifts of the Spirit. So that means that the, the, you must be first a recipient of the Spirit before these gifts can and Sometimes Based on how we are socialized, we believe that one person can only have one. And uh, I blame myself uh, that I only ask for one and a loan of a second. And uh, then I talked with one of my daughters and she said to me, well, Daddy, you, you, you don't ask no more. Yeah, yeah, you know, she she reminded me of an incident when uh, what the Holy Ghost and I asked the Lord to give the gift to somebody here and it wasn't forthcoming in my time and I asked him to lend me and she said, but you have to ask for anything more, true? And he did lend me. Uh, Sometimes, brethren, we subject ourselves to limitations when God didn't limit us. And this is one of them. Nine gifts of the Spirit. And in giving an order, when my SDF friend sometimes, we argue for fun. And uh, because when we look on the order of things, they are normally given in the order of importance. And in giving of the commandments, Moses to the children of Israel, but shall have one another God beside me. And here we have an hour with about commandment four. And I said, okay, I reach forward to the second one. Yeah. Second one, you can't go to college and high school until you have gone to primary. Right, teacher? Primary. Otherwise, you yeah. So you come back to primary. One, two, three, four. Good, we don't hear. Anyway, here we have them. Just for some clarity. So somebody want to look at them in the order? First Corinthians chapter 12. Remember the order? For unto one is given the spirit of the word of wisdom to another the word of knowledge by the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit. Well, look at this one now. To another gifts. And that is the only 
gift that is in the plural. All others are singular. What are they? We take up that one. That one, the gifts of healing, is in the plural. But all the others are singular. And faith comes high on top. Because to believe the word and the word and to accept the word is what? But when you get faith, and faith now is going to operate all the rest. Faith is going to operate all the rest. So immediately after faith comes miracle. Miracle. And today we are going to spend some time and look at miracles because for many persons we believe that miracles are over. Alright? And you're not entitled to miracles. And we limit ourselves again. We don't ask for it because we feel the days of miracles are over. And may forget one, I have some funny belief too, that you are not going to get any more for now. Who am I to determine when I get and when I get not? All right, so we have faith, then miracles, then gifts. In. Now, I pause right there. And uh, the lesson I was read from Ephesians chapter three. I, I'm in my typical mode, so say me. In that, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 1. From verse 2 to verse 13 is parenthesis. Paul diverted. He introduced himself and never come back to talking about what he was all about until he reached verse 14. In other words, because he brought in the mystery of the church. The mystery. And when you read the thing, he said that this thing was hidden in God. That nobody saw it. Only God knew about it. The, the thing about it too is that, whoa, I chat, I'm on fasting, so if I, I'm too technical, suit me. I'll explain it again. When you look at that from Genesis chapter 12 to Malachi, it's, it's about the Jews from Abraham to the Jewish people. So God has, you could say, always have a select person or a select group that he used as a model. So Abraham was the model. Amen. Out of Abraham came the Jewish nation, and they were the model nation. And all the Bible from there going on is about the Jewish nation. And going on to, down to Revelation, it would have been, but the church itself is a paradisus. Because in the middle of, of, of um, the year, uh, 69 I want to go the Lord stopped the clock brought in the church turned his attention to the Jewish nation and said Jews hold a while I have another people I'm going to turn to them they are going to be the mother for now they are going to be the mother so, so Jews you are not going to be the mother right now the, the church is going to the man. But where is this track? How is it going to come from? Jesus Christ came and he said, I will build. Not, not, not refurbish. Build. Huh? Build. That means it was never in existence. You could look at the, the, the church as a type, but build and therefore in and there are some unique characteristics about the church which we have to study and learn because it's not everything about the Jews you are going to find in the church. Because God says, I will build. Okay. Now, the, the, the apostles 
saying this in this uh, um, Ephesians 3, I know I saw mix up. May I feel it? And he said, uh, make sure I'm the right thing. Okay? From Ephesians chapter 3. And uh, I'm getting there. And he said, verse 9, he said, and to me, all men, how many men? And this is not a thing, this is not a synagogue. This is inclusive.
casting the mix of a blender. Yes, sir. You know, mix of a blender. So, sir. Your plants come with us. We are talking about miracles. He may not come when you want him, but don't shut up miracles. Don't shut it out. Don't shut it out. Because some people will only believe when they see. Jesus said, Blessed are those who have not seen and believe. But for the most part, people want to see. They want to see. Trust God. I have had several opportunities and I've kicked some and believed some and we have bought or no. Because I didn't know the world would come to this. I would know the world would come to this. Are you with me? Sometimes God said to you, know, buy that. You know, when you speak, if you buy, somebody said, you buy gold or you buy a rock top. You know, they can't see what God can see. Read that for me now. Who is coming? Chapter 8, chapter eight verse 39 and 40. And when they were come up out of the water. Listen to this. No. Third Acts? Chapter 8. Yes. 39. Yes, 39. Yes, 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 yes. 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 And when they were come up out of the water, water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. But Philip was found at Azorus, and passing through the Ypres in all the cities, till he came to Caesarea. If you have to do the geography from where it, uh, the incident took place to where it was going is 50 miles. Yes, 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 yes. 50 miles. Yes. And the spirit caught away Philip. No, no, you can't explain that. The spirit caught away Philip. Thank God. And the next thing you know, Philip ran him away. 50 miles in a few minutes. My God Almighty, that the eunuch saw him because the eunuch in a chariot and he thought the chariot is the best thing and we, the chariot is the best thing because he my official and uh, when God took up heaven official, heaven official and just flew him across, he landed there in a few minutes and the eunuch saw him where? We have read about you, no? We have read about Enoch. Where is Enoch? Who are you? Enoch. Walk with God. Not being my God. Have a relationship. My child of God. Just serve God. And when one day when I saw Enoch, he was not. What do you mean? Not missing. God took him. Because he had his testimony that he pleased God. Check out the limits of God. What can God not do? What can God not do? What? Check it out! Check it out! We limit God. Your whole. You have to sit on the your whole. Yes, your whole. So what is that? Yes. We're too young. You're too dumb. You're too big. All that is true. We are too everything. But when you come to God, who are you? A new creature. A new creature. That all men might see what? What is the mystery? Fellowship of the mystery of Christ. I must go on till Jesus comes.
God will have no rally and no program and no this and that. Yet, yet we have money. Yes. Of course. That we might see the mystery of the power of God. Brethren, trust God. Brethren, trust God. The prior God of prayer, God bless our sword, but that can help you now. You're a new creature. Trust Almighty God. Yeah, as I said before, there are some things that, that it requires you to do. When they were turn water into wine, they must get water and pull up the things. And I historians said, when they finish with the wine, they have about a hundred gallons of wine. More than what the Angia. A hundred gallons of wine. Yes, they wanted some money, and Jesus said, Go to our seaside. Catch the fish. Catch one fish. Ain't no set barracuda, ain't no set hindered fish, ain't no set any kind of real sketch. And when you look, look in at the mouth of the fish. No, no sell the fish. Where are we selling the fish? You look in the mouth of the fish. And when you look in the mouth, you see money, currency. Currency, no heaven currency, local currency. Yes, sir. Is that God your servant? Yes, is that God that Israel left out of Egypt with, with whatever shoes they had? Yes. Whatever their same shoes that you have, and the shoes never match up. Yes. 40 years the shoes, they the dead and left the shoes. Because it talks on something we understand. And the Holy Ghost 
that the same way there are so hot that you don't understand when you speak in tongues of what is that? You don't know what you are saying? And then they, 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 they cheer you. But when you put, put your Holy Ghost up, you activate your spirit and things begin to run around you and think that you are afraid of. And she, I look, my eyes closed tight, right there. And when I look, I saw the figure of a man. And he said to me, when I look between you and I, I saw an obstacle. And I prayed about the obstacle. And before I reach up to him in the spirit, because him now move, I'm now move. <laughs> but but, but I'm, I'm getting closer to him. We still wonder about it. He was right here, sir. And when I was here. He now move. And he said, come. But I find myself going to him. I'm still at the same place. And before I reach up to him, my language was changed and it was all over the place. <laughs> When things go wrong, as they do sometimes, and I put on me anointing, and I, we have said, cut language, and I cut language, what was coming to me, run from me. Run from me. One time something happened, and I saw something unusual, and I said, no, 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 no. And I said, after five, do I want to sing on we you have your anointing in them. Yes, sir. Oh, we are anointed. Some things start to bring up. We didn't ask. This is different in a language change. And I said, return to sender. And I won't tell the results. Because somebody sends something. And the switch says, say, return to sender. And what you should have done to me? It was done to the center.
wel sneeuw? Zo'n people who are staan sneeuw. You look for if you come in the deadly servant. You look for them. But you have some poor people who walk on two foot. But the worst are sneeuw. And they but have more venom than sneeuw. God said, give a check up. Church in dispensation is over and the, 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 the 
move to another stage for church of the living God. Until then, my heart will go on singing. Until then, with joy and carry on.
I saw Brother Martin walk up to the altar earlier this morning and he was anointing the altar. And I said, Lord, what's the significance of that? There must be a meaning behind what you're doing. I forgot about it. And a while ago, I was meditating on how to close. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's the Holy Ghost said, remember what Michael did? It's for purpose. Because I was leading along a particular line of miracles and a signal to the deacons not to color the offering because the leading I was getting was for the offering to be placed on the altar by the individuals. And then after that, the Lord reminded me of Michael coming to the altar and anointing the altar. And he said, well, it might not be the general offering, but there is a financial miracle that is about to take place. I hear this now. Bishop said, Bishop said some years ago that when you're singing and you feel the anointing, don't stop singing and speaking tongues. Just keep singing. So if you feel the anointing during this session, don't run up and down. Pump it into what you want from the Lord. You can control it. Hallelujah to God. And so Jesus said, the preacher said, that as soon as Jesus stepped into the boat, immediately they reached land. As soon as the man was baptized, immediately he was trans Philip was transported to another place. And what is deposited in my spirit, that as soon as you follow the protocol, walk up here and put someone on the altar, immediately something in the spiritual realm is going to take place in your finances. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. And so I'm following what the Lord has led me to do. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Put something on it. Put something on it. If you see my coin.
Almighty. You can have the miracle of salvation right now. Those who are watching my TV at home, at home, on the Zoom, on Facebook, you can get the miracle of salvation right now. You need to be baptized and fill the Holy Ghost. Ah, Allah, Mashallah, the Messiah, to be saved. Submit yourself to God. Is there anyone here who wants to be baptized, who wants to be saved? Walk up to the altar. Amen. Rain is falling. It's now one o'clock. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 